Well, the Multimedia Group, National Road Safety Commission and Guinness Ghana Breweries Limited have come together to launch a road safety campaign to reduce carnage on the roads, particularly during the Easter celebration. The Chakwang Mum campaign, which means finished the journey, is to discourage drunk driving among drivers. Beginning today on this platform as part of the campaign, we'll bring you basic road safety tips that save drive to remind you of precautions you should not forget while on the road. Take a look. <laughs> Respect road signs, safe drive, speeding kills, stop speeding. Expect that uh, as we launch our campaign for road safety. Let's get some more background on this campaign. So joined on the phone by head of society, Diago Africa, which is the parent company of Guinness Ghana Breweries Limited. Gabriel Opoku Asari he joins us for more. Thank you so much, Mr. Asari, uh, for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Why is Guinness Ghana undertaking this campaign? Guinness Ghana Breweries, uh, as a company, we believe that in every country or in every community that we operate, we should ensure that we are building thriving communities and also reducing alcohol harm and also contributing to economic development of that community. As and that is part of our Diageo 2020 pillar. Diageo is the parent company of Guinness Ghana Brewery. The reason why we are backing on this campaign is to contribute to the UN Sustainable Development Goals, SDG 3, and specifically 3.6, to have road traffic accidents, right? And we believe that a lot of people do take alcohol before they get into their car and drive. And by taking alcohol and driving, you know that it's going to cause it could make you dizzy and it's going to cause accidents. So the purpose of this campaign is to save lives and save a lot of lives, save Ghanaian lives. That's why we're running this campaign. And uh, we are proud that this year we are able to partner the multimedia group to spread the message. And today, at the Timothea station, we are launching the event for the Easter celebrations, right? Mm. We believe that during this period, a lot of people will be traveling to visit their families in their hometowns, especially a lot of people are going up the mountain to quell for the celebration. People do enjoy alcohol during this period. They could enjoy it responsibly, but never to drink and drive. So that's the message for today, and that's the reason why we are backing on this campaign today. Mm, what are we likely to see despite the daily uh, messages on, on driving? So what we're doing specifically is not just the rich, which just um, telling people, but also educating the drivers who are actually the guys who run the car. So over the last um, two months, we've been educating drivers all over Ghana, from the Atumata Station to Kumasi to the Western region. We've been talking to drivers, and we've educated them around the, the harmful effects of drinking and driving, never to drink and drive. We have other variants of uh, our drinks that you can take, but you shouldn't take alcohol whilst you drive. So we've, we've taken them through training. It's not just um, a campaign that don't drink and drive. So the training was a three-day training. It was a, it was a three-day training where the first day we, we brought a clinical psychologist to talk to the drivers around the effects of drinking and driving. And then we got on the road, and then we were testing the drivers. We were running breathalyzer tests over the whole period. And for the drivers who were compliant, who did not drink, and drive throughout the period, we rewarded them. The purpose is not the reward that we give to the drivers, but to ensure that the drivers do and buy what we taught them, right? What we've seen as some of the great outcomes of this campaign has been that if you go to certain stations around the Achimota area and other parts of Accra, the drivers are actually self-regulating 
arbitration. When I say self-regulating, what I mean is that they are ensuring that their own uh, members um, of the Air Committee Association of Drivers do not drink and drive. So when they found out that um, a driver is taking some alcohol before getting into the car, they will ensure that the driver does not drive that car and mm. they will find a different driver, which is quite remarkable that people are, the drivers are actually um, listening to us and it's causing a lot of change. And in fact, the big outcome is to save lives and save millions of Ghanaian lives. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Opokwa Asari. I'm, I'm also joined on the phone by Executive Director of the National Road Safety Commission, Mayo Brie for more. Good morning, Madam. Great to have you here. Good morning. How different is this campaign from previous ones that you have carried out and partnered with other organizations? Well, um, good morning to your listeners. Uh, we have uh, been with uh, Guinness Ghana for so long, so many years. And uh, I think that uh, it is a corporate body that they themselves think that even though they sell uh, alcoholic beverages, they would not want to see uh, their clients going down the drain or dying through their products. And so that is something different. And not, not a lot of times people have products and they just want to defend the product. But these are people who would want to encourage drivers, yes, even if you take it, you should take it maybe after uh, your day's work. So that is how different it is from other campaigns. Mm. And uh, what do you, how, how long will this run for, ma'am? Pardon me. How long will the campaign run for? Uh, for this particular one, um, uh, this uh, normally we would do it through Easter and then after we will we'll break. So any time that there is a, a festive option, then we come up and then we, we team up with them to do those campaigns. Okay, so how would you extend this or sustain it beyond the Easter celebrations? The drive, in fact, this is, sustainability is very crucial. We do not want to do something and then we cannot sustain. That is why we get the drivers themselves involved in this, including we go to station by station to remember um, Guinness Ghana started in Accra, but now gone beyond Accra to other regions. So we, we get the drivers themselves involved, both at the national level and then at the local level, so that if we are not even there, they themselves will regulate themselves and ensure that drivers will not drink and drive in our absence. So this is how we are going to uh, sustain it. Thank you very much for your time. Mayor Bri Yeboa is Executive Director of the National Road Safety Commission. Well, uh, that campaign uh, with the multimedia group Guinness Ghana Limited and the Road Safety Commission is being launched, and I will bring you more on this in subsequent bulletins.